Hi everyone and welcome back to Vlogmas 26. So we are here at Indian River Antique Mall in Melbourne, Florida and I cannot wait to get inside. This time I'm only picking up a small basket. Now, this time, I'm basically looking for vintage Christmas. And I've shopped at this mall before, and they've had some really good stuff at really good prices. And I thought this plate with Santa on it would be a perfect addition for my holiday decor. And at $4, I'm like, yes, please. Now, I've been at this mall before. So, I kind of know where some of the booths are that I really like to shop. But, when you're at a mall this size... You need to check them out because you never can tell what gems are hidden on those shelves. And of course, I had to do a voiceover because the music was definitely loud, which I like that myself, but okay, let's keep going. There are several things that I saw in the mall that I would have loved to have carried back, but I was trying to purchase what I could take back in that backpack. And I need to remember to look for those old Christmas bulbs that I have in the garage and I'm also looking at the different prices from state to state and I had looked at this whole mall and did not see one Santa mug but I did get a lot of ideas this is cool I have one similar. So it was nice to see the date on it. Oh, did I mention that this antique mall is 25,000 square feet? Oh my goodness. I... I could go home with so much from this mall. Look, the aisles are so long. So many treasures here and there. May your days be merry and bright. I thought about that Noel sign, but I really didn't have a spot for it. This booth always has something good. Large variety, dishes, figurines, home decor, unique items, like this little guy.
And I thought he was a pretty good price at $18. Booth 55. Let's keep going. I'm kind of looking at the phones. Oh, and definitely always look in the cases. But I was thinking about Christmas, so it didn't take me very long to scan a booth. I always have so much fun shopping here. Um, it definitely takes a few hours if you're wanting to look at each booth. Oh, and here it comes. My favorite booth. I can't tell you how many things I have purchased from just this one booth. Booth 555. And they definitely have the vintage. When I look back at this video, I'm thinking there's some things that I should have picked up, but I was definitely looking for Christmas. And here we go. I think I probably could have almost purchased everything from this one case. And who knows, I'll be here a day or so more. I might go back. The nice thing about looking for vintage in a mall, you definitely learn and you learn the prices. So make sure you look at the tags and oh yes. I loved it all. And those little beads on the stick, that's what I've been looking for. I probably should have picked up the pink ones too. But I hope you guys stay tuned for my haul. Look at these. Now the nice thing about these Santas is that you could use them to decorate plus use the box. Forty-eight's not bad, especially if you divide it by four. Alrighty, guys. I had to do a voiceover, so... <laughs> I have to make sure that I stop looking and talk. Now, have you picked out what I'm going to be bringing home with me? Now, what caught my eye on this were these little bottle brush wreaths because I put some of those on that large birdhouse out on the deck, but it was a corsage. Hmm. I think he had some really good prices. I've had a few of those. 
One more is not going to hurt. Such good prices. Oh. Oh, yes. That was a good price. I purchased a lot of stuff from this area. Ooh. Do you see items that you would have gotten? If so, please leave them in the description box below. And I've never seen one with a red hat. Twelve bucks. That was pretty good. I had to go get my buggy, my little basket here. How much do you think it is? Twenty-five. You could also put that on your tree and decorate with the box. I didn't pick it up, but I am thinking about it. Years ago, I would have picked up some of those little cars. This is a good booth too. I don't know, all of them are good. I wish I'd have gotten those oil cans. But, and then I spot this. Oh my goodness. If it didn't set the um, alarms off at the airport, I would have really thought about it. And it was 285, I believe. And then do you see it? So cute. I had to have it. At 15, mm, you know. But it's almost like when you see vintage and you like it, go ahead, pick it up, because the next day, if you didn't get it, you'll say, I wish I'd have picked that up. I can't tell you how many times I've said that. And looking at this, I saw the jadeite. I wish I'd have looked at the prices. I thought that was so cool. That'd have been sweet on the back deck.
and I was trying to figure out what this was. Um, it was 74, but I didn't know what it was like. Game pieces? In this case, had some um, old toys. But I was trying not to pick it up. I've never seen a cookie jar like that. Have y'all? <laughs> that thing is huge. A bell pepper. <laughs> Yes, and I thought about those, but um, wrapping them up and bringing them home, I kind of decided not to. But I thought it was a good price for all three. And look, I would have loved to have had that and put them out at Halloween. But that big cat was a hundred. And it was out of cast iron. So much to look at. We had gotten to this mall kind of late in the afternoon. Hello, everyone. You know, I had to wear my flannel. Those air plants, they're cool. I thought this was neat. Especially if you get several different kinds of stockings. I think um, by the time I got to this side, I think I was maybe in the middle of the store. Now this Santa was a good price, but it was um, it was out of a like a plaster Paris concrete thing it was very heavy 
And I thought, well, I decided not to get that for sure because I didn't want to have to tote it in the airport. But it would have been a good buy. And this, it was on sale for $3 for the whole thing. There's no telling how many of the die-cut Christmas pieces that were in there. And that was one thing I said when I walked into this mall, don't buy any cookie cutters. <laughs> but at $3.99, did I get it or did I leave it? That was a cool idea. Where you can wrap candles. I'm going to have to try that. And the little cinnamon stick in the back. But this booth, oh my goodness. Hand painted. Absolutely beautiful. Hand painted piece for $3.50. That was so nice. And I thought these were cool. I knew that those candlesticks would never make it. Such a good job on that. And yes, then I spotted this. Six dollars. And then I got to thinking about what I would do with that. So, you know those long hat pins? I thought, how pretty would that be inside in the bedroom? So, I thought I'd give it a try. All right. Let's keep going. And the mall was pretty busy. So pretty. Oh my goodness. And then I came to this booth Look. I could set that on top of a candlestick, put it in a box, set it on top of an old boot. Yes, please. Two fifty, yes. Two fifty, yes. Oh, and yes. I'll leave one for someone. <laughs> I 
Now, I did pick this up. Um, I haven't looked at it, but I loved the cover. I'm thinking that would be so pretty framed. And I have a whole box of these. I was kind of curious about the price. So there were four for $12. Santa, salt and pepper. Did you see the eyes? And those were um, uh, like for placement cards. Well, I didn't get this set, but I was kind of wishing I had. But as you all know, hopefully there's tomorrow. I might go back. They're definitely old. Now, this last booth, the mid-century modern. This furniture was absolutely beautiful. Um, and I'm not sure if they handmade them but they were so pretty. If I was definitely into the mid-century modern, I believe I would have bought a few of these pieces. Alrighty, guys. We are about to wrap this visit up. I want to thank you so much for watching all your comments and being there every day. So, until next time, have fun decorating and have fun shopping for it. Thanks for stopping by.